Hey, what is up, guys? It is Thursday night, and I just don't feel like going out there and grabbing a new gameplay. So what you are seeing is a super old, I'm talking like three months old gameplay, and it is basically beyond terrible. So if you like seeing terrible gameplays, you are looking at one right now. But the topic of today's discussion is small YouTubers. And why is this? It's because I follow a lot of small YouTubers on Twitter. I subscribe to a lot of small YouTubers on YouTube. And the other day, I was going through my YouTube subscriptions, looking at subscriptions, you know, that have been act inactive for, you know, a month, two months inactive. And you know what I do when I see channels like that? Well, first of all, I unsubscribe. But then, second of all, it really got me thinking, you know, most of these channels were low sub channels, you know, 100 and under, you know, that I'd seen and subscribed to, you know, hoping, you know, that maybe with my subscription, it might give them, you know, some hope, you know, that their channel might go somewhere, but too many people, I think, get caught up and give up on the idea that, you know, oh, I'm under 50 subscribers, so I'm just going to give up because I'm not gaining subscribers fast enough. I'm not getting views like Minnesota Burns or like Phase Rain, you know, I can't get views that fast, so I'm just going to give up. Well, first of all, it's unlikely that your content is that good and the reason why it's unlikely that your content is that good is that they're full-time youtubers they're people who are playing and working on their content all the time and as being someone who's doing it as a part-time thing it's basically impossible for us to try and compete now we can keep on putting in more and more time you keep on seeing i'm trying to push you know towards daily uploads it's probably not likely but i am getting a new capture card that will make it be a little bit easier and get the hd content in there along with being able to record you know very easily much faster and it might be possible for me to pull off daily uploads but i mean the point is we can't compete with those people we can't really grow our channels as fast. You know, some of those people like Minnesota Burns been around a long time. He was around in the early days before everybody and their mother owned an HD capture card and was able to upload content to YouTube. When there were fewer people uploading content, that's when he was able to pull in the early subscribers. Nowadays, the market is so saturated. Like, there are so many people uploading other Call of Duty videos. Like, why would someone want to watch ours? That's like the question we have to ask ourselves as small YouTubers. Like, why would someone want to watch our content? How does it differentiate itself from just the normal, like, larger YouTuber? How is it different than Ali A? You know, you have to kind of define yourself. And, you know, you... People feel like they have to grow their channel in order to feel like they're going somewhere, in order to stay motivated. So I kind of wanted to help out those people, try and help, you know, some of the smaller channels, the 50 and under, the 100 and under, even the 200 and under. Because I've met a lot of them on YouTube, and I don't know how long they're all going to stick around from what I said earlier. So we kind of came up with a new way to help promote those channels. I don't think shoutouts work. I've never really viewed shoutouts as being something that works, because when you just go out there and say, you know, hey, you should go check out this channel, it's not really going to happen. Like, the human interaction, like, has your friend ever said, you know, hey, go check out this video on YouTube when you get home, you know, like back in seventh grade before you could look it up on your phone or before they could just look it up on their phone and show you. Back in the era where you actually had to go on a desktop to watch something on YouTube, I'm talking like 2005, you know, kids used to say, hey, go check this out on YouTube when you get home. And did you ever actually do it? Probably not. I know I definitely never did. People tell me to look up stuff. I forgot about it in an hour. You know, so when you do shoutouts, it doesn't really work. So basically, we've came up with a different way of approaching the situation. A way that I've seen some few other YouTubers do. And I think it's going to work out pretty well. And we'll have more information on that on Saturday when hopefully I can get myself a better gameplay. And hopefully by then, my Hapog HD PVR Rocket will have came making the recording super easy. I will see the rest of you all tomorrow. We will have out a new Squeaker Nation video with Gunder Dylan and a little bit of Michael. And hopefully you guys all enjoy that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and be sure to subscribe if you have not yet. Thanks for watching.